Hi everybody, this is Bupin the Tube. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be talking about how to do diagnosis of your computer. For this video, I would be using Dell Precision T3500 as an example, but you would be able to use the same method for other computers or brands. In the first part of my video, I will be examining what the diagnostic lights mean how you can troubleshoot the problems. The first section I will show you how to fix your PSU, power supply unit. Whether it's your power supply unit problem, whether it's something different that's related to PSU. Then I will be going ahead and showing you how to fix problems with your memories. It's very simple. And lastly, I will be showing you how to fix your computer when it can't detect any drives. I've also made other videos about how to figure out your RAM, how to change your CMOS battery, how to drain the residual voltage in, in your motherboard, how to make your computer to detect your or DVD ROM. This also can be watched in my other videos which I will put them in the description of this video. And if you would have any other questions, put that in the comments below. I would try my best to be able to answer it. So, without any further ado, let's start. Always before touching your computer, after open, before opening even the case, remove all your cables from the back. You know, remove all. If you don't have a static wrist, you can touch a non-painted metallic piece like this at the back end of the computer as you can see I just touch this so in this video I want to talk through some of the trouble shoes I did so this is Dell T3500 so when I connected everything the first error I got was the lights 1 and 3 were blinking with the power button also blinking in green three four times and then it turned off so this is Dell website and this is the troubleshoot diagnostic light indication what each light means and you can see here it says if light number one and light number three blinks it means that there is something wrong with the PCU cable which is this one PB 10 error blinking and then turning off PC you may be bad so I will explain in this video what was actually wrong with my computer and why it was blinking and I was getting this diagnostic so I found the solution the solution was so this is a power cable that goes to the motherboard from the power supply if you research, you will think that your power supply is probably not working, it's damaged, or your cable, PSU cable is damaged, but that might not be the case, and that was not the case in my situation. What was the solution for me was to unplug all the cables, the these cables, SATA. I didn't unplug the power because I knew that power cable uh, needs to be there but I try to unplug some more cables but the reason the reason why I had this problem was because can you see that port there in the corner black one right there this cable can go into that port okay this cable that comes out from the power can go into that port and this was inserted in that port and that caused a short circuit so all I did was I remove that cable from that port which was coming from the power supply and then I connected all the cable in the back and then I turned the computer on and it was not blinking anymore 
the uh, light number one and three were not blinking green but this time I had another problem and the problem was that green one and green three and the power were static constant on green not blinking but constant on green so troubleshooting now for number one and three being on the constant green I'm gonna explain it now on the post diagnostic I was getting errors of one and three you see post diagnostic LED patterns one and three means memory so what you got to do to fix the memory when you have this problem I'm gonna discuss through this video as well one thing to do is to remove your as you can see here all the RAMs I had only one RAM installed okay so I took one RAM I put that one RAM in and then I turned it on again and it didn't help I replaced that one RAM with another one RAM I turned it on and it still didn't work but this time I said why not to connect all the RAMs I've got so I put all the RAMs secured them properly into uh, this slot this PC can take six RAMs each RAM is one GB and each RAM is compatible you need to make sure they are compatible the configuration is right so I inserted this time all the six GB because that green light one and three might have been on because there was not enough RAM to power up the computer so power green light one and three means there is a problem with the RAM so I put all the six RAMs and I restarted the computer I turn it on and now I didn't get that error anymore so put the case back close this now troubleshoot number three when I was turning on my computer I was trying now to install Windows 10 or I had Windows 7 as well I was trying to install them and it was saying no drivers found okay it was saying no drivers found another symptom for this problem is when you restart your computer you receive this screen and before that I was getting an kind of an error no device found okay there you need to go to BIOS there you need to change this setting of SATA to ATA and then restart your computer and then that error would disappear but it would not resolve the problem of finding the hard disks or the CD-ROM which is here or DVD player which is here so it was not able to detect them you make sure that all your SATA cables are connected here so make sure all your SATA cables are connected make sure your hard disk is connected and make sure your if you need them your DVD player is also connected and I made sure they are connected they are connected to the motherboard they are connected to the back end of this disks so what I did then was to go to BIOS you go to a place called SATA there there is a checkbox before knowing which checkbox to press you need to go bottom of that there is a detail and from that detail you can see which SATA is for what and you can only check you only check the boxes that have something assigned to them for example I checked the box on SATA 0 and then I got an error saying there is no device found because there was no as you can see there is no device there is no hard disk on in here there's only one so one hard disk was mis missing and that was SATA 0 so the SATA 0 cable in here even though it's connected on the motherboard it's not connected to any hard disk so that was missing so uncheck that check the other two that you got and then restore your computer that problem is solved and then not loading any drive when you're installing Windows also would be solved because now your computer can recognize the hard disk computer needs the hard disk 
or Windows installation needs the hard disk to be able to install the operating system. Okay, so <laughs> now that we made it so that it could recognize the hard disk, now it can install the operating system. So, thanks for watching, guys. For more in depth details about troubleshooting some of these problems, you could refer to my other videos. I've put them in the description of this video. And I hope it helps you to resolve your computer problems. And if you have any questions, put that in the comments below. And I hope I will see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. If you liked it, put a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.